Hi and welcome back for hopefully a, a quick video just inspire it because I am just done with opening up this PS3 FAT 80 gigabyte. Now I got this this week um, and finally I'm, uh, I feel a little bit better though. I still have a little bit of issues with my, uh, my, my throat, I guess, with my voice. But um, so there was a seller online and he said, I have a 60 gigabyte PS3. It does turn on, it does work, but it overheats very fast. I think it's very dusty. This is basically for someone who repairs or cleans systems out. So I did a 10 euro bid and he said, yeah, fine, sure. I'll uh, send this system to you. So in total was 16 bucks, still a good deal, still a good deal. Uh, and like a day later, he, he messaged me and said, oh, I'm so sorry. It's an 80, gi 80 gigabyte system, not 60. And of course, as you know, 60 gigabyte systems uh, like this one, this is my original launch PS3 from 2007, still works perfectly fine. This is where I play a lot of PS2 games. And this is a uh, 60 gigabyte PS3 that I have for secondary. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but I got this, I think, like for 20, 20 25 bucks two, two years ago, three years ago. Um, also works perfectly fine. So I was like, yeah, I'm a little, I was a little bumped out, you know, because I was like, whew, 16 bucks for a 60 gigabyte uh, system. But it was an 80 gigabyte system, I, I, but I still thought like, you know, whatever, it's still cheap. And I can save the console, you know, because he was basically saying, I'm going to throw it away if... I don't sell this system. So I got it. And as you can see, it's completely clean. It works perfectly fine, completely clean. And especially at the end where sort of the hot air comes out or the air comes out, it was really hot, really fast. And it's it's pretty cool right now. I did the uh, thermal paste, et cetera, et cetera. And it's formatting at the moment. It's at 11%. It's it's, uh, it's already been like an hour. <laughs> um, the guy did had some good games, though. He I saw his save files, and he had like um, Yakuza 5 and Call of War. So he had a good, uh, you know, uh, a, a good taste in, in video games. And basically, the point of this video is sort of my question. Do you guys actually buy systems sometimes or buy bundles and with systems and do you clean them? Do you open them up? Do you clean them? Do you clean your own system? Do you open up your own system? Or do you, do you let others do that for you? So I recently, um, if you have seen my pickup videos for the last couple of months, you know that I have bought a shit ton of Xboxes. I got an Xbox there. I got an Xbox here. And I got two Xboxes here. And now they all need to be... I think this... I think I cleaned this one and opened up this one. But as you can see here, this one are still dusty. I still need to open them up. And to be really honest, Xbox systems are super easy to open up. They're super easy to disassemble compared to something like the GameCube. I, I did this one a couple of months ago. It's, I was sort of surprised at how compact they made the GameCube, it's insane. It's actually pretty difficult to open it up and to put it all back together because I disassembled them completely like everything. And I try to, you know, assemble them again and clean everything out, um, et cetera, et cetera. And with the, the Xboxes, I got a shit ton of controllers. Look how many Xbox controllers I have. And uh, I, even, I think I even have, oh yeah, I even have third party controllers and it doesn't, Feel oh man this this ah this feels weird it just feels very cheap compared to original Xbox controllers uh, and the Duke I got a couple of Dukes and some of them don't work I have I think one of that one there doesn't work um, the cable is broken so that's why it's sort of on display um, but here you have like a basically perfect trigger most of the triggers of Xbox consoles or consoles in general are always really bad as you can see and a lot of times it's like a left trigger works but the right trigger doesn't work so i still need to sort of one day try and see which one works which one doesn't and try to sort of replace 
um, sticks and parts. Uh, as you can see here, this one is actually broken with a broken case. Such a nice, such a shame though. I want to say something nice, but such a shame because the Duke controller, it's, it's pretty cool. It's really big, way too big, but it's, it's really cool to have, to be honest. Um, this is my original PlayStation controller. I opened th this one too. Uh, also really easy to open up, but I mean, come on, it's, it's an old system. Uh, the PS2 is harder to open up, and the PS3 is probably the worst one. The PS3 is probably the worst one. But I think, just like everything else, if you have done it a couple of times, it's it gets easier. It gets easier and easier to open up the systems. Um, because I was sort of in sick relief, I'm still in sick relief, by the way, um, is you know i opened up my i didn't want to play games because i had such a headache so i was you know what let's tinker with the xbox i'm using so this is the xbox that i play most of my games if not all the games actually on it i'm playing time splitters too um started playing yesterday again and the disc tray like sometimes it comes out sometimes it didn't so i opened it up i completely uh, cleaned it it wasn't actually that dusty to be honest and um I, how do you say it? Uh, there's like a little rubber band that makes the system go, go open and, and close. And I put in another one. So I threw away the other, the one was uh, worn out and I put in another one and it works completely fine. And I just, I don't know why I love it. I love it when you buy a system, it's dirty, it overheats or it just is very dusty. It gets hot and then you completely clean it and it's completely fine again. Same with controllers. Um, I got a like a PSG Slim a couple of years ago. I think with four of these white controllers and two of them still don't work. However, I have found a video where they explain uh, how to fix it because I have a certain issue that it doesn't, something doesn't work. And that's because some part of the controllers get worn out and you have to sort of do a little fix. So I didn't knew that. So I have to sort of go back again and try and fix the other two, but, um, or other one, because I think that one is also doesn't really work that well. But this one, as you can see, it looks brand new. It honestly looks brand new because I completely opened it up, completely cleaned it and it works perfectly fine and i just i love that i love to do that same with the xbox 360 controller one of the best controllers ever um yes i said it the xbox 360 controller is so freaking good i actually want to make a, a video in a couple of days or weeks about controllers um, because i was wrong about the ps2 controller and xbox and gamecube controller um, so there you have it. That is sort of the video that I, I wanted to make. And again, the question is, do you buy, you know, consoles or controllers just um, to clean them up or maybe even resell them? Because a lot of times, like, why do I need five PS3 controllers, PS3 systems? I don't know, but it's 16 bucks. I'm not going to let someone throw it away. Man, I have to slap it on his face to tell me I'm going to throw it away. No way. I, I saved it. I fixed it. I cleaned it and it works perfectly fine. Leave in the comments below if you do that, or are you just someone who just buys one system and if it dies out or you get another system, you just throw it in your addict or whatever. Even if you throw it away, you need a slap around your head but leave in the comments below if you do that. Like, comment, share, and so, holy shit, uh, almost 10 minutes. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but all right. Bye-bye.